We got lots of different varieties of lettuce here. This has become one of my favorite lettuces, the mir. Beautiful head of mir. It's a, it's a summer crisp lettuce with um, great uh, roots on it as well. Mm, you can just taste the freshness. Romaine, you'll never have E. coli on this romaine. Beautiful romaine lettuce here. Again, nice and crunchy, you got beautiful leaves. Really, really tasty. Know your farmer, know where your food's coming from. Grow it yourself, you'll be healthier. Look at this, look at that beautiful pak choy growing right here in our greenhouse. On the same tower, we're also growing some starber kale. Again, I never really liked kale until I started growing it. This is the starber kale. It's the sweetest of all the kale. Curly kale is another name for it. It has a lot of flavor as well. I mean, we always encourage people to grow the food they love to eat. We've got some beautiful sorrel, has a lemon flavor. Again, we can make lemonade, put it on fish and chicken. Really tasty. This area, we're fresh cutting for our restaurants. We're just making a different medley of different types of, of salad mixes for them. And we fresh cut that every five to seven days. Just this little piece of stevia, this is what stevia looks like, is enough to sweeten your whole smoothie. It's a natural plant sweetener. It's too bad you can't smell the oregano here. I mean, it's just so potent. The oregano is just incredibly potent. I mean, again, it just shows you can grow all your, all your leafy greens and herbs year round with your tower. These herbs, oh, it just makes me hungry. Celery, I forgot to talk about celery. Oh, well. Green onions, oh my gosh. So much fun. We ship seedlings all over the US. So we're growing any, at any time 10 to 20,000 seedlings a month and close to 130 varieties of seedlings now. And we ship those all over for people that have towers, that have backyard uh, hydroponics, or even putting them in the soil. You don't have to go in and have these towers that are nine feet tall. You can actually grow in your own house because it's how, most of us have our house heated or cooled, depending on the time of the year. So you already have your own environmentally controlled greenhouse in your own house. So you can do this as well. We've tried to figure out, well, how can we grow our own food here in the desert? And so as we looked at different technologies, we realized water is gonna be a commodity and we investigated different ways to do it. And we decided that going vertical was way easier to do than going horizontal. So we can save 90% uh, space by going vertical. We can use only 10% of the same amount of land, but more importantly, we're using 90 to 98% less water. So we can grow a lot of food in a small space and diminishing in the amount of water because this is a, a food desert. We have a reservoir that's 20 gallons that holds the water and the mineral nutrients. The water solution contains 70 plus essential minerals and nutrients and the only moving part is a pump. That pump pumps that water nutrient solution up to the top and then it rains down and it hits each port the same amount and we get faster growth. We get more growth because the the roots are actually not in water 24 7 but they're hanging in air so we get super oxygen into those roots with the nutrients and we can have a full head of lettuce in 21 to 26 days from a two inch seedling beautiful root structure you can tell the quality and the health of your plant by the roots and a beautiful bib lettuce so you won't go wrong growing your own lettuce year-round in your tower garden